there was no blight. And that's a fact, is it? Think about it. Why would it stop? So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. I fought Darkspawn, but I've never been to the Deep Roads. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the Deep Roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. We don't want trouble with the Grey Wardens, do we? Uh, let's look at our options first. I'd rather not fight a Warden unless we have to. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. Detail. Dwarves aren't completely immune to magic, you know. No, no, no. I meant there are at least 30 people in this town who'd murder my family over trade deals. Who has time to worry about apostates with a merchant's guild breathing down your neck? In that case, I see. never had children. I mean, sorry if that's too personal. It's all right. I was a soldier and he was a Templar. We knew that our personal lives would have to wait. Distance never ma- But we ran out of time. It is what it is. Will everyone please just step back? My ma- If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of is sitting on the throne. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A Warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? 
Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? We would never turn someone over to the Templars, mistress. Never. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Your healer is in no danger from me. If this mage is an apostate, the Templars will find him. No mage should suffer for an accident of birth. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know, to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. I asked at 30 farms for work. Not one is hiring for ref... Hey, we heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. Look, we're Vereldans just trying to keep out of the Templar's sight, same as you. Vereldan? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Maker bless the rule of our King Alistair. So, what do you do, Aveline? You know I'm a guard. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. Rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pouncelot. He hated the deep roads. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot, in the Deep Roads. He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out, if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested... Although... A favor for a favor... Does that sound like a fair deal? 
You help me, I'll help you. Help my expedition reach the Deep Roads, and I'll do whatever you need. You don't ask for my terms. What if I were asking for the Knight Commander's head on a spike? Is that what you ask? You decide. I have a Warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Fekler. He was sent here from Ferelden, when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Mages are locked in their cell, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. Are these accusations true? Ask any mage in Kirkwall. Over a dozen were made tranquil just this year. The more people you ask, the worse the rumors become. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes. Andras, they said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. Forcing mages into servitude is not the way to prevent the rise of another Imperium. That's not usually the response I get. Perhaps we will work together better than I expected. How do you plan to break him out of the gallows? I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Maker willing, he'll be there, alone. But if there are Templars with him, I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. You've convinced me. What's your plan? I welcome your aid. I have already sent word for Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk away free. shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! 
How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. Take another mage as you took him! What did you do? It's like... you brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But... it's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> We should leave before more Templars come. That wasn't normal magic you just did, was it? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends. And he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. This spirit sounds like a useful friend to have. He was far better to me than I have been to him. To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. So you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. This is obviously difficult for you. I thought I was helping my friend. He would have died, I guess. If that even means anything. And he wanted to help me. He knew what mages have suffered. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that. 
I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Can justice ever be separated from you? I don't think so. The only way a spirit has ever been separated from a living host is by its death. The curse is of my own making. All I can do now is hope to control it. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness, a frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. Is there anything I can do for you? You're the first one I've ever told this. Thank you for not running away. My maps are yours, as am I if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens, but if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. <laughs>